Okay, in this video, we want to learn how to add two matrices together, alright? So I've pointed out here, which is very, very important, if not, I wouldn't have uh, written it down, that addition of matrices is only possible when the matrices have the same dimensions, alright? So, when the matrices have the same dimension, what do I mean by that? Well, in our previous videos, we talked about dimensions of the matrix, where we talked about the rows and the columns, alright? So the dimension has this form, the number of rows, so let me put it here the number of rows maybe let me just uh, reduce the uh, complexity of the notations the number of rows by the number of columns so we know this uh, entries here that uh, is this and that means the first row the second row while this means the columns right so first column second column third column so there are three columns and there's two rows okay you write the row first you write the number of row first cross the number of columns so this means the dimension for example in this case we have two rows which is two rows okay cross number of columns three columns all right so this is a two by three matrix that's the dimension let's look at this second one this second matrix this is an addition sign well the number of rows here what two there are two of them all right so that is row one row two so we have two rows as well uh let me put this here and then cross what well, the number of columns how many there are three of course so that's three columns so the dimensions are the same right this is not two times three rather it's two by three that's how to uh call the dimension of the matrix just like you have a stick all right you say two by two or whatever okay so that the dimensions of the matrix are, are equal in other words we can add them right now what happens uh, when the dimensions are not equal well for example um, this is a non-example of matrix that can be added right so let's say we have so this matrix cannot be added together these matrices cannot be added together because they have different dimensions this one means two rows two rows two columns two columns that is two by two but this one means how many rows one two three three rows one to two columns so the dimensions are not the same right the number of rows here is different from the number of rows here therefore these two matrices cannot be added together all right okay so i'm going to clean this i'm going to clean all this rough work here and then we're going to see how we can add these two matrices together now let's uh, add these matrices together all right so we have the first matrix and the second matrix if you like you can call your matrix a name you can call this maybe a and then call it b and the question will be add a and b together all right so as a solution well, well, how do we add matrices together? I'm not going to write this down, but it's very important. To, write mat to add matrices together, okay, you add uh, corresponding entries together, right? When you're adding two matrices, you are adding the corresponding entries. So by corresponding entries, I mean the entry in the row 1, column 1 of the first matrix should be added to the entry in the row 1, column 1 of the second matrix, all right? The entry in the row 2, column 3, this is row 2, column 3, all right? row two this is the second row this is the third column so this matrix this element here um, is common right so the element here that is negative three should be added to the element in the row two column three that is what, what i mean by corresponding entries you, so you add the corresponding entries together so adding this and that together i'm not going to write them out again right we add two to negative one so what is two plus negative one well the answer is just going to be positive one because two plus negative one is the same way of saying uh, subtract one from two because negative times positive times negative will give us a negative that will give us positive one all right okay so you just know how to add numbers when they have different signs this is two plus negative three which is two sorry three plus negative three which is three minus three and that is zero okay then we have one plus negative one of course it's still zero so when you're adding two numbers that have opposite signs plus and minus and they are the same they have the same magnitude therefore the result will be zero right so we also add this and that together four plus seven plus four that will be 13 then we have negative one plus two that will be positive one same as the first one and then negative three plus one that will be negative two so this right here is the sum of these two matrices all right now this wouldn't be possible if these two matrices had different dimensions for example if this one was if this one stopped here Okay, what will happen? We will add this to that, add this to that, add this 3 to negative 3, add negative 1 to 2. But well, what are we going to add 1 to? Alright, so it wouldn't be possible. So they must have the same dimension. Okay, so with this, you can go ahead and add as many matrices as possible. Okay, great. Uh, let me just pause here and say this. When the 
number of rows and number of columns of a matrix are equal, then that matrix is called a square matrix. Okay, anyway, in our next video, we're going to learn how to subtract matrices together. And they will also obey the same rule. They must have the same dimensions before subtraction is possible. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.